This is something called Operation Stargate. What it uses is advanced artificial intelligence, but what it's allowing labs to do is a couple things. So I actually heard Dr. David Sinclair talk about he's able to do things in his lab from an anti-aging based perspective in terms of lab clinical trials that would typically take thousands of years because they've trained some of these AI models to be able to simulate, not in the real world, but simulate what are most likely the best molecules, nutrients, ways of completing these studies that takes them then far less time and billions of less dollars in research. So what they're going to be able to do though is have additional blood tests like this detect tiny fragments of the tumor-based DNA. So when you look for cancer, you'll also find its DNA markers, those tumor DNA markers. And then what they'll do is they'll be able to look at those tumor markers, know which type of cancer it is, because again, that's what they're working on right now. And then they're going to be able to develop a specific type of of injection, we'll just say that, right? Injection that has been trained to boost your immune system, your own natural killer cells, your own T regulatory cells to go after this specific cancer. Why does that matter? Because there are immunologics right now that actually do help with this, like dendritic cell injections, etc., that help to retrain the immune system or boost the T cells and natural killer cells because these cancerous tumors sometimes, they are sneaky and they hide from detection. They don't allow your Treg cells or natural killer cells, NK cells, to go after them. 